Welcome to another unit in this course on social network analytics. This time I'm going to talk about the hub and authority scores or as they also sometimes refer to the hyperlink induced topic search algorithm. So why are those two scores listed together whereas most of the other statistics we talked about in this course are treated separately? Well, the reason for this is that they are also calculated together and the calculation of the hub score uses the authority scores and vice versa. And well, the procedure actually is relatively simple, at least from the basic outline. And it starts slightly different. It starts as not necessarily using the fully available network data. So here, we usually start with the idea of just using a subnetwork with the most important nodes. So this would mean beforehand you would have to use some other kind of measure to decide which are actually the most important nodes in your network. Once you have done this or you skip this step, the real calculation starts. In the beginning, set all scores, all hub scores, all authority scores as zero. And next part, start with the authority update. So for each authority score, you set it equal to the sum of all the hub scores of nodes pointing to it. That's actually the important part here. It's about pointing to a specific direction. So in this situation, we already have a clue that this only leads to really different results if we have a directed network. It doesn't really work differently with undirected networks. But we will get back to this in a moment. However, here authorities get the sum of the hub scores of all nodes pointing to it. With the hubs, it's exactly the other way around they get the sum of all authority scores of nodes pointing to them. So we do basically two times the same thing, but the other way around. Once we've done this, we only proceed with normalizing all the scores. So we divide all individual authority scores by the sum of all authority scores. Meaning the maximum that any authority score can reach would be one. But this only means that there's one node which has all the authority and all the others have an authority score of zero. And well, we do the same thing, not only for the authority, but for the hub scores as well. And then we just start the same thing again from step so we continue with authority hub update and normalization and we do this until some cancellation criterion is met. Until either the changes in the authority or hub scores is below a certain threshold or a certain amount of iterations have passed. And well, that's a neat way to get results to get actually two scores with two different ideas underlying both of them. And if we look closely as the, at the calculation, we also see that it's pretty similar, especially the authority scores are pretty similar to what we already know about eigenvalue centrality and the page rank. So they also are iteratively determined and the idea of the authorities is that they are closely linked to other authorities. They have a lot of hubs pointing at them and if I have an important hub this one might also be an authority. So authorities are closely linked but to authorities. That's the same idea as with eigenvalue centrality or the page rank which is just a different version of eigenvalue centrality. Therefore, authority scores and eigenvalue or centrality or page rank are also highly correlated. However, 
In this case, we directly calculate two scores, not only the authority score, but also the hub score, which has a slightly different perspective because it's focusing on linking different nodes. So hub scores are more similar to betweenness centrality and also, in most cases, strongly correlated with betweenness scores. As compared to the page rank, while we could use the authority scores also in a search engine context, that's not this pronouncedly done. It's talk that Tiomar as a search engine used something comparable to the authority scores, but well, page rank is used by Google, so it's much more pronounced, much more present. A difference as well is that the authority or hub score calculation, the HITS algorithm, only works with a sub-network, so you need something beforehand to decide what are the important nodes. One of the reasons why it only works with a sub-network is actually the fourth point here, and that's one big advantage as compared to the page rank. If you were to use this in a search engine, it would be applied during calls on the search engine and not during indexing. In other words, for each use of the search engine, he would start doing the evaluations anew. So you would get really up-to-date information on the most important or least important results. Due to the fact that this is a lot of work, we focus only on the subnetwork. So it leads to additional calculation, additional work which needs to be done, but it yields much more current results. It's much more dynamic than, for example, the page rank. That's also a reason why, for example, Google works on an indexing basis, because it would be way more calculation intense if they would always rank them during each new call. And well, that's basically all on the theory regarding the hub and authority scores. So let's just switch to Gephi and have a look how we can calculate them with the help of a computer, not having to do all of the iterations on ourselves. For this, I'm going to use the two examples here, a larger undirected network, a smaller directed network. And I start with the undirected network. If I want to do this, I go to statistics. And I don't find directly anything on hub or authority scores here, but I find the name HITS. That was the hypertext induced so so. So I click on this part. I can here determine the threshold when to stop with the iterations. Click OK, I get my results here. And they are listed in my data table. And if I look closely, what I can see here, hub and authority scores are exactly the same. And that's due to the fact that I have an undirected network. An undirected network, those two scores will always be the same. So that's actually a big problem in this context. And that's why in undirected networks, it would make more sense to use betweenness and eigenvector centrality scores instead of the authority and hub scores. If, however, we have a directed network, this case here, and I calculate the hits or apply the hit score, get similar results, and data table here. I have authority and hub scores, and here I can see they actually result in different outcomes. Well, not for all of them, but this actually doesn't have to surprise. It could be the situation that they actually get the same results, but there's also some differences. And that's basically only due to the fact that this is a directed network. So, good idea, but mainly usable for directed networks. And well, this then concludes my session on the HITS algorithm on authority 
and hub scores which actually provide a relatively neat summary or one calculation for both ideas, importance and transmission. So the idea of eigenvector and between the centrality in one algorithm. However, with some downsides for undirected networks. Well, that's then everything there is. So I hope you enjoyed and I say goodbye. See you next time.